one of the toughest things that I found as a result of this incident was telling my wife Trace about it and um, and it was hard right to go home and tell your wife that potentially you know there was a chance with a second's difference that I might not have come home today and that was really tough because I've never planned that right I've always planned that I will be home to my wife and kids at the end of ships. I was involved in a near miss between a light vehicle and a haul truck. Um, we were doing a shift change, so I was driving around in the light vehicle with the open cut examiner knocking off night shift. The open cut examiner that was coming on shift was in the passenger seat. I was in the back seat along with the stat superintendent. We came to a corner and were traveling around that corner talking about general mine conditions. Um, and what I remember of the incident is the passenger yelled out stop at the same time as our safe mine system alerted us. We immediately stopped the car and when the dust settled, I was looking through the front windscreen at the bumper bar of a haul truck about 15 metres away. The piece that really hit home for me is I only really needed one layer to fail in our systems, right? If, if that passenger was distracted on a mobile phone or some other device and they didn't yell out stop, if the truck driver was asleep from a fatigue related event, if our water cart had watered the corner, we didn't need much to go wrong for that to be a potential fatal outcome. And, and I thought, you know, we're pretty lucky and I don't like living by luck. So we needed to fix our processes, which we went on and did. My kids will tell you this and dad's catchphrase or his motto in life is effort equals reward. And I think that's the opportunity for us as an industry, right? I think. The more effort we all put in to review our controls against the TRG, um, the absolute best chance that the reward is every employee that works for us or is known by us gets to go home to their families at the end of their shift. Dangerous vehicle interactions continue to be the number one hazard in open cut mines in New South Wales, far outweighing any other hazards. We know everyone is trying to overcome this worrying trend. However, total incidents are increasing each year. One of our biggest concerns is the near misses. We know that only the most serious near misses are reported to the resource regulator, representing just the tip of the iceberg. Sooner or later, one of these won't just be a near miss. We have to do something different. The resource regulator is aware of the inconsistent approach across the industry to fix these issues. We see pockets of great practice, but we also see the same ineffective corrective actions over and over again. Low level actions like toolbox talks, retraining operators and rewriting procedures account for 75% of all corrective actions. Clearly we need to do better. We need to work together on a common framework and language if we're going to beat this. It's time for a new direction. The new surface roads and other vehicle operating areas technical reference guide Released by the resource regulator is that new direction for the mining industry. Make sure you get behind it because our luck will soon run out. Let's face it, operating mobile equipment can be boring. 12 hours a day, multiple shifts in a row, four o'clock in the morning when your body wants to sleep. If there ever was a job that can expose our limitations, operating mobile equipment certainly is. We can become distracted, fatigued, complacent, even agitated and tempted to take shortcuts. These behaviours though are a shortcut earning a place on the wall behind me. Vehicle interaction controls must be robust, multi-layered and balance the accountability between the equipment operator and the company. This wall behind me carries the names of 1,793 people who have died working in Northern District coal mines. Each one a reminder of how hazardous our industry can be. We maintain this area as a place to grieve, remember and reflect. It is also a re reminder of the need to continuously improve our safety in the industry. Today, one of the biggest safety risks in mining is adverse vehicle interactions. This new technical reference guide is a response to years of seeing the same kinds of incidents, collisions between excavators and bulldozers, haul trucks and graders, and light vehicles getting crushed by big machines. This trend hasn't improved over time. We know the challenges workers face like fatigue, distraction and perceived pressure to push through rather than stop work. The consequences of these challenges can be fatal. That's why we are taking action to drive change. This guide lays out a layered defence covering design, segregation, 
procedures, training and technology. It's not about ticking boxes, it's about making sure the systems are in place from the top down so workers aren't left carrying the risk alone. This wall is a clear reminder that we work in the hazardous industry and we can't afford to rely on luck to stay safe. The new technical reference guide is about making sure your name and your workmate's name don't end up here. When mobile mining equipment collide, the energies involved are unforgiving. To put this into perspective, a typical light vehicle like this one weighs around two and a half tonnes. Now, compare that to a fully loaded rear dump truck weighing close to 400 tonnes. That's 160 times heavier than the light vehicle. The energy of that truck moving at just 20 kilometres per hour is equivalent to a light vehicle travelling at more than 250 kilometres per hour. Take a moment to picture that, being struck by a car travelling at 250 kilometres per hour. Would you survive? The scale of these energies make one thing absolutely clear. We need smart, robust defences to prevent adverse vehicle interactions. The technical reference guide provides exactly that. It sets a new direction for the mining industry, providing specific guidance tailored to managing vehicle interaction hazards. The guide has been developed in consultation with industry and mine worker representatives and adopts key concepts developed by the Earth Moving Equipment Safety Roundtable, a global initiative focused on improving the effectiveness of vehicle interaction controls. The framework of the TRG is centred around a four-step process. Step one is to complete a baseline assessment of your site using the maturity framework. This functions as a self-reflection tool to stimulate discussion and challenge the vehicle interaction controls at your site. The second and most critical step is to review your existing controls using the layered defence approach. This structure challenges you to think about when you should expect the control to be considered and implemented. From the design layers one through three, which outline the road designs and the equipment to be used, through the operational layers four through seven, of training, fitness to operate and awareness, and then finally into the reaction layers eight and nine. Following the layer defence review, the third step is to consider any additional operational control measures that may be required for your specific site. While most vehicle hazard controls are transferable from site to site, your mine may have unique vehicle interaction controls requiring specific consideration. The fourth step is to consider any other technology mechanisms that could assist in your site's journey to have a safe vehicle interaction environment. These layers eight and nine controls are emerging in our industry and should be considered, but not serve as a substitute to those controls in layers one through seven. Adopting this layered approach should challenge us all to think, what is my control and when should I expect to see it? In the past, companies have rushed to implement technology to solve their vehicle interaction issues, only to realise this isn't the silver bullet that they've been searching for. Technology only provides a barrier to an incident in the last seconds or milliseconds relying on human or machine intervention. It's a small window of opportunities to avoid an incident. Technology can be overwhelmed easily if not supported effectively by design and operational controls. You do not want to be operating in this environment. The journey to safer vehicle interactions starts with implementing defence layers years before an incident occurs, starting off with equipment specifications and mine standards. Mine operators should ensure effective controls are implemented in each of the layers, progressively providing multiple layers of control before time runs out. This guide has been developed in partnership with industry to address the most serious hazard in surface mining, and that is vehicle interactions. When applied properly, the TRG tackles the human limitations that we all face. Things like fatigue, distraction, complacency, all within a complex operating environment. But more important than that, it gives us something that we've never had before, a common framework and a shared language 
to address the risks, implement the controls, and learn from each other. This is a very powerful step forward for the industry. So whether you work at a large scale operation like this one, or a smaller scale operation like this quarry behind me here, the risks are just as real, the people are just as important, and the TRG applies in the same way. So what should you expect at your mine? By talking the same language and working in the same framework as the regulator, other mines and industry bodies, this guide sets clear expectations and removes the guesswork out of control measures. Using this framework allows you to benchmark your mine against the detailed guidance provided and develop clear measures to assess the effectiveness of your controls in the defence layers. And if vehicle incidents do occur, we'll be directing you to investigate in the framework and language of the TRG. If you're not on this journey, you will be left behind. We don't want to see another name on this wall. That's why this TRG is here now, and it's why your actions matter. So take the first step, download the TRG, assess your site, and take action today.